All right, me again um, with my mic that's not designed to record video. Um, this rev this video um, will explain how to install the the full um, Seven Days to Die mod launcher install, which is obviously very different. The other version is just the overhaul mod on its own. Um, the launcher version, as you can see here, um, comes with 8,000 prefabs, a custom uh, random world gen mixer, so you can use random gen, and modlets, along, along with my main overhaul, modlets that have been particularly uh, picked and adjusted so that they all work together as a group. So um, I'll include the link in the description obviously, um, but this will explain how to install the launcher version. So you click here, download, and click zip, wait for it to finish. Right, now that that's finished, you have this file. Again, double click like before, double click again, you get the data and mods. So select um, those both and drop onto the desktop. Right, once done, you can close this, delete the file. Again, your seven days to die directory, which is this has the data and the mods folder you know you're there when you see that uh, you can see here data and mods folder data and mods so these both go into the base directory ie everything in the data folder gets added to the data folder everything in the mods gets added to the mods so you basically just select both and drop anywhere that's obviously not in another folder so you drop let go Uh, when it comes up with um, ask permission to overwrite, make sure you click yes to all in destination. Otherwise, you'll get problems. You you can't pick and choose with this. It has to be a complete installation or nothing at all. Right. Now that that's done, you basically start seven days to die up. Um, you'll see you've done everything okay because it'll say here version 3.10 so what you do is you click new game you go to random gen you type in whatever name you want as a game name whatever name you wish as the generation seed and then click start that's it if you want to see what's going on in the background you can click F1 which will bring up the console console window um, it's handy if you want to sort of like find out what's if there's something wrong or you get an error it'll it'll always be in here so if you wanted to double check to make sure everything was loaded okay and everything was fine then F1 is what you do Um, um, that's it pretty much um, no errors in the console um, obviously read these if you've never read them before so you know what you're doing um, 